Why, to my surprise. I like that cartoon, Steve. Steve Smith Eccles in the bathroom. Steve Smith Eccles in the bathroom. Steve Smith He's short, but he's a top jockey. Hang on, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's something missing. What is it? It's off. Oh, where's your blooming horse, Steve? He's at home waiting for me. Is he's he? waiting yes. for the Grand National this weekend. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's what he's waiting Are for. Are you riding in the National? At this moment in time, no, I'm not. Oh, no, my. because you're sitting on the bus. Well, <laughs> <laughs> the horse I was due to I mean, ride... We wouldn't have enough room. Uh, excuse me. Let's the the room horse party. I was due to ride for the Queen Mother yes. Yes, suffered a setback. Oh, no. no. Yes. What was it? I can't really say. Really? I can't really Why say. Is it secret. Long secret. 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 certain things you can't say. OK. But Can we have a four-line intro? Of course. So who are you? Now, age 38, Steve Smith Eccles is regarded as one of the greatest jockeys in race. Close up on 20. And no wonder! He's been riding horses for 20 years and has so far amassed around a thousand she wins, including a third in the Grand National 1985. A sprightly five foot five inches, Steve has, believe you me, suffered for his sport and broken a total of 25 bones in his body. No! Yeah. 25 bones? 25. Okay, well, we have five questions for you, which will take you through your career and give us more information. John McCreek, first question from you. Oh, thank you, Chris Evans. Um, what was your nastiest fall, and did you cry? Yes, and it was in 1979 I fractured my neck. There you you broke your you neck! Yeah, I didn't damage the spinal cord, ah! so I was sitting on the edge of your back. <laughs> oh, how did that happen? What happened? Horse fell, and one sort of landed on top of on me. On top of you? Yeah. What do you do? How What's the procedure you? when you fall off a horse? Tell us. Pray. No, but you... Well, no, you, you try and roll up in a ball, and you try and sort of um, command the fall so you can sort of curl up, but... And when you you're in the middle on, of on your front or your back or your side? It depends right? whichever way you land it. You're just as but quick if, as you can. Yeah, but if you're in the middle of sort of 20, 30 horses, yeah. oh! one of them's going to kick you. Yeah! yeah. Wow. Is it scary when you fall Ooh. off? It is, but it happens so quick, it's... It's over and done over with. And done Especially with if okay. it comes just after a jump. Because then they all jump over and they don't know you're there. Unless they've got that horse sense that everyone talks about. <laughs> Horses don't have any sense. They always know when the buses are coming before they come round the corner. Oh, the horses? Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. True. They've got seven senses. What is the maximum Smell height for a jockey? Smell, Smell and taste. There is no limitation on height. It's all about weight. I mean, you can oh, weigh nice. ten stone and you can be six foot six. Yeah. You can be a bit skinny, but... You so what, what's it, the well, it's case, weight? It's weight, not height. Tell us the uh, weight. From what does it start from and go to? The minimum weight we carry in jump racing is jump. ten stone. Ten stone. Yeah. Now everybody thinks of flat jockeys. When yes. you think of jockeys like uh, well, Willie Carlton, over. well, yeah, quite. <laughs> well, oh. They uh, go to scale around about eight stone. Okay, eight stone. So that's cool. Question number three from John. Thank you, Christopher Evans. What is your favourite race? My favourite race is the Grand National. Yeah. Oh, Got to be because everybody oh, watches it, and yeah. I promise you, three hundred and twenty people worldwide. We'll be watching this race on Saturday. Yeah, I'm doing the drive, by the way. I'm doing the start. That, that was last year's <laughs> thing. <laughs> million. 320 million. Well, that's all right. Million. 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 Yeah. About the rating. Uh, and everybody has a bet. You can have a flutter on the next one, can't yeah, you? Yeah, you can. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. There's nothing wrong with that. Everybody bar jockeys. Jockeys are not allowed to bet. Not allowed to. No, against the rules of racing. Really? Do you yeah. wear jockey shorts? No, we wear tights. Ooh, yeah. 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 That could be a bit embarrassing. A lot of people don't realise it. But if you can look at these boots, I mean, they're very thin. You have to have the... Oh, any excuse. Up. And yeah. it's a winter sport and it keeps Boots you warm. Boots and tights. Oh. It's all well, a bit dodgy to me. Well, and it's a winter sport as well. Yeah. I mean, you've got these thin britches on, so you've got to have a couple of layers of tights underneath. Oh, two but, layers of tights oh, right, in winter. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh, all right then. Uh, okay. Look at that. <laughs> Question number five from John. Thank you, Christopher Evans. Do you think... Thank you, Christopher Evans. Who do you think <laughs> will win on Saturday okay, in okay, okay. the Grand National? Put My on. fancy is a horse called Elfast. Elfast? Elfast. Ridden by Graham McCourt. I just hope he doesn't get <laughs> injured because I'm standing in the wings to ride it. Really? Yes. And you don't want to have that responsibility on your shoulders? Well, no, I don't want to see Graham get injured. But oh. if he does get injured, I'm first in the queue. OK, now, you've uh, ridden over a thousand winners. <laughs> Nearly a thousand. Nearly a thousand. Nearly a How thousand. many exactly? I think it's 900 and... 40 odd. Okay, do you, do you reckon you get to a thousand before you give it all up? No, because I'm due to retire pretty soon. He's going to retire, John! What? Oh. what? No way! No! He should go for the thousand! Well, for goodness but, sake! Put it like what, this. thousand if, broken bones! If you make 35 in our job, you've yeah. done well. Well, I, as you say, I'm coming up 39. I'm on borrowed time. I've got to yeah? go. Yeah. So you've had a good time now? I've had a great time. I've met some wonderful people. So where are you going to open up the chip shop then? Yeah, I was going to say, what are you going to do when you hang your crop up then? Uh, I'm going to Is business. Speakers? Doing what? Um, hopefully TV presenting for Sky no. TV. No. Yes. Wow. Why not? Why you can not? always go into the lingerie business, though. Yeah. Selling <laughs> 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 jockey shorts. Yeah. 
But it's been nice having you here. And uh, where will you watch the Grand National on Saturday if you're not racing? From the jockey's change. Oh, you'll be there. Oh, yes, oh, I'll ride there. on that day. Well, give our love to Liverpool. I will yeah. do. All right, then. Thank you. Do. Steve Smith, Steve Steve Smith. Smith. Oh, 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 the oh, 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 And little Zaggy Bow over there. Question about the clip is. What's in the egg? Remember, don't post just for fun.